Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, it was uh, a hot summer night, and we were all sleeping on the terrace of our house in Hyderabad. I was suddenly woke up when I heard a lot of noise. Good evening, Postmaster, fellow Postmasters, and dear friends. When I woke up, I realized I could not figure out what was happening. After some time, I realized all that. I don't need a noise because we had got the news that my uncle, when he was returning from his night show, had died, had an accident and he had died on the spot. He did not have his own personal insurance, but he had employees his ESI insurance and my aunt got a little bit of money and he mentioned him in uh, my uncle's children's door. When my uncle died, my cousin sister was just eight years old, and a cousin brother was five years old, and we had they had younger twin brother and sister who was less than one year old. Uh, this is just not the case of all this not happening. A recent report in uh, from Max New York Life and National Council of Applied Economic Research says that in the organization. 78% of the people are aware of insurance, but only 24% of the people buy insurance. And among the people who buy insurance, over 90% are underinsured, which is amazing because that study also tells that most people, whatever insurance money they get, their family can live on that interest income for just three months. Uh, I can also tell you one more incident. Few years back, my daughter did a project in uh, a for a small scale industrialist in India. At the end of the at the end of the project I went and tried to meet the owner of that company. He was very happy with my daughter's work and he showed me the new machine he had bought. He told me that this machine is worth he also told me that he has been in this business for over 20 years. He told, also told me that he has insured everything in his fact. Over a discussion, over a couple of coffee, later I found out that he has insured everything but his own life. Then he died frankly young for him, but he had not insured it. So what I am saying is uh, the cost of insurance is very low. There is something called term life insurance, which is available, which is not an investment. It is a risk management tool. Uh, somebody who is age 30 can buy an insurance for just paying 7,000 rupees per year for an amount of 30 lakhs of rupees. And he will be covered for 30 years. That is, till he's 60 years of age, if something happens to him or her, the family will get 30 lakhs. So basically the cost of the insurance is, is very, very low and you get very few people for buying it. How many uh, of us have uh, making insurance? That's good. How many of uh, us have bought term life insurance? Good. That's, that's a good number. So surprisingly, uh, I think um, Toastmasters, People in those markets are more aware of term life insurance and they have bought insurance from their own. Uh, I think uh, most people should understand the importance of term life insurance and use it not as an investment. Thank you. Most of us have heard of uh, trying to kill two birds in a single stone. What most Indians are trying to do by units and others is trying to buy a single instrument which works both for insurance and investment. In the process, it neither does the risk coverage work well, nor does it do investment well. Over to you.